When you think of an image of what a perfect chest looks like, just remember this. Every perfect chest started by looking like this, or maybe even this. Well, today I'm going to give you a chest workout perfect for beginners for building that foundation to getting that ultimate chest. That being said, you're not going to need a lot of space or equipment to do it. And the first thing you have to realize when you're choosing your exercises is just because you're training at home doesn't mean that we're sacrificing the science of chest training. In other words, we still want to target our upper chest, our sternal head, and the lower chest or abdominal head, the pecs. And in order to do that, just like you would in any gym-based workout, you're going to have to move your arms in different directions to preferentially hit each one of those areas. And the good news is, we can. But the sequence of the exercises that you choose also matters too. Because you want to start with your inclined chest exercise. And the exercise of choice here is a prowler push-up. And this is a variation of a push-up that simply allows us to get our arms pushing in an up and away direction. If I was going to perform an incline bench press, my arms would be going up and away at this angle. We're doing that by positioning our body in the same way and using our body as resistance. Now, of course, if you have to do this from your knees, that's perfectly fine. But the key is you want to perform each set to failure because we're trying to create that stimulus for progressive overload that will give you the foundation for more strength and size. Now, you do have one alternative here if you prefer to work your upper chest with a band rather than with that push-up variation. And we call this the banded incline split. And you assume a lunge position by dropping one leg back and anchoring the band on that same side in a low position. If you follow the fiber direction of the upper chest, like I showed you before, you will feel a really good intense contraction at the top. Now the level of resistance here is determined by the band that you're using, or you can simply step further away to increase it. Once again, perform as many repetitions as it takes to go to failure, anywhere between that 10 and let's say 20 rep range. Next, we move our focus from that upper chest down now more towards the middle chest or sternal head. And our exercise of choice here is once again a push-up variation, but a very important one for beginners. And it's called the hand release push-up. And what's so important about this is it corrects a lot of the flaws that occur when beginners perform push-ups. In other words, having the ass way up in the air, or allowing their lower back to sag, or pushing up in a very segmented way with your chest and hips moving at different rates. Move your body through space as one unit. In other words, move your chest and your pelvis together at all times. And what's nice about this is it's going to ensure that you not only do a push-up correctly, but it also will teach you how to engage those back muscles before you press which is going to be a requirement to doing a bench press properly when you get to that point where you're either training in a gym or invest in a universal bench press when you're at home. Now, as far as what to look for here, there's three additional things I want to see. First of all, make them full push-ups. Extend all the way through at the elbows. Do not stop two inches short in your elbows. The second thing, make sure it's your chest that's pushing and not allowing your chest to cave in. And we can easily do this by trying to keep the shoulder blades back once again being reinforced almost automatically because of that hand release preset. And the third thing I want to see you do here is slow down the tempo at which you perform your repetitions. Far too many beginners rush through their reps trying to get to some magic number. Remember, there is no magic number. Failure is the goal once again here. As long as you don't find yourself performing 50, 60, or 70 reps in a given set, let's face it, you're probably not a beginner anyway. You should just be doing the other perfect chest workout that I have on this channel. And that is where we get to shift our focus now to the lower chest line or the abdominal head of the pecs. And once again, we have the roadmap already in place because we can follow the fibers in this down and in direction by creating an exercise choice that does exactly that. This time we do something called the pseudo planche push-up. And what the goal of this exercise is, is to shift your hands a little bit further down your torso in the starting position. Now the goal here is to almost mimic or recreate a dip. Instantly, you'll realize that your shoulders and triceps will be kicking in, but they're doing so in a way to assist the chest to push even further to failure. For exercise number four, we break out that band either for the second time, if you did it for the inclined chest exercise, or now for the first time, and we do something called the banded saw. And what's so important about this and why it complements and creates the perfect chest workout for beginners is that it teaches you the importance of adduction. And what's nice about this is all I'm trying to do is just literally saw my arm parallel to the ground. But what you'll see is I get good chest adduction one arm at a time. And I can feel that good contraction. And I want you to actually feel it by holding every one of these contractions for a split second in the end position. 
the earlier that you can develop that my muscle connection, the longer you'll be able to reap the benefit of it over the rest of your training years. The focus as it has been on the first four exercises is to take this to failure, ideally somewhere between the eight and 15 rep range. Make sure of course to perform one set on both arms before moving on to the fifth and final exercise. And that's where we get to use our band one more time for a non-chest exercise in the perfect chest workout. Because this time, we're gonna focus on your rotator cuff. See, a lot of times guys ignore the importance of the corrective exercises as it relates to the bigger muscles that we're trying to train. And when it comes to the chest in most pushing exercises, you don't wanna overdevelop them at the expense of the supporting muscles of your shoulder. The rotator cuff plays a very important role for creating a balanced shoulder that can last for the lifetime of your training. So let's start now. All beginners should do some form of corrective exercise and this banded external rotation is exactly what you want to do to complement that higher volume of push training. The main goal on this exercise is to make sure that you're keeping your elbow tight to your side. How far you move your hand is really less relevant than how much you're able to limit the motion to external rotation. If I allow my elbow to drift, I'm basically performing a side lateral raise and involving the delt way too much. With this in place, you'll not only be building a foundation with the perfect chest workout, but you'll be building one that won't crack or betray you when you do decide to finally hit the gym and get underneath a bench press bar. Repetitions to failure are less important here, but you do want to feel those good high quality contractions and ultimately a burn, usually that's accomplished in around 12 to 15 reps on each arm. And when you put it all together, it looks just like this. Stick to this plan and perform it one to two times per week, and those dreams of having that perfect chest of your own will actually start to become a reality. If you find the workout starting to become too easy, well guess what? It's not time to give up, it's time to move up. And you can do this version of the perfect workout here. If you're looking for a complete program, you can find them over at athletenext.com. And if you haven't done so, make sure you click subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video when we put one out. More coming in the perfect series. Stay tuned.